Hail moment, friends! Andang here for another episode of the Epic Story. When we last left off, we were getting ready to go on into the Stone Deans and talk to the old head of the city to learn of what must be done to find out about this crazy person who's trying to do all this harm to Rohan. And here we are. You have arrived at Woodhurst in the Stone Deans. This looks like any other village of the Horse Lords to me. Horn tells me this town is home to many people of Dunlending and Rohiric blood. Do they maintain the traditions of both my people and of Horn's people? Or have they forgotten from where they were or came in order to survive this land? I do not see much I recognize of the Achlith in this town. The buildings are wrong. The land is wrong. Will the people prove otherwise? So near to Dunland, many of the folk of this town share ancestry with the Dunlanding tribes. This is Woodhurst. I have so desired to see it for some time. So near to Dunland, many of the folk of this town share ancestry with the Dunlanding tribes. Perhaps Nona and I will be able to find a place here when all is through. That'll be really interesting to see what happens after Felnor Fields. This is still a good while, hence. I do not doubt it, but my heart tells me that Woodhurst would be more welcoming to us than my own home of Aylworth. Well, we have more pressing matters than this. Let us find Reeve Hermond and report to him of the danger his town may face. All right, I get to do another old man voice, as long-time viewers of this channel know. I always love to do that. Not to mention the whole Glowine thing. I think we're supposed to go in here. I hope we're supposed to go in here. Yep, here we go. The blood of the Hill Tribes flows through me, but they are no longer my people. You are welcome in Woodhurst, but you do not see her at her best. My husband has finally succumbed to death. But I cannot properly mourn for him. I must mourn too for our city. For it is held in the grip of Dunlending invaders. The blood of the hill tribes flows through my veins. But they are no longer my people. When I wed Helmond and came to live in his land, and when I gave him a son, then I was no longer of my tribe. I was part of a new tribe. Rungan's eyes flash, and you see a fire in them that reminds you of Nona. Those who hold the mead hall and bring war to my home may share my blood, but they spill the blood of those I love. Now we are enemies. You have my thanks for this warning you bring, but Woodhurst is already imperiled. What is one more threat upon the pile of many? Speak to my son, Herobland. He rules now in place of his father. I will answer any questions of yours, to which I am able. You wish to help? Good. There are not enough folk willing to help with the problems of others in these trying times. My son Harafa is doing all he can, as am I. But we cannot be everywhere. There will always be somewhere we are not. You may not know much of these invaders, but I do. They are called Droglith, and they worship worms and lizards of all sorts. But their loyalty has been brought by Saruman, and they go where he commands. Defeat these Dunlending invaders wherever you find them. Throughout the Stone Deans. You'll find Drogluth aplenty in Woodhurst. To my sorrow and my mother's. 
It's really hard to say a plenty in that voice. All right, let's make our way. Let's get the heck out of Woodhurst. I don't know why, but let's get out of here. And the defeat Tunlinding. So that sounds horrible. All right. I'm sure Nana would approve. Mm. Turn left at the end of the Stone Deans. All right. With Eisenhower. Hmm. Now nah, we're back in Woodhurst. Mm, yes. Well, here's some enemies. Hey, ruffians. Time to die. Call forth lightning and thunder. The whole world was changed. There we go. Seven out of ten. Let's actually just send Herbal on that one. Could you imagine having to fight Hairball just randomly? Like, a Lynx comes up and just starts beating you up like nothing else. There we go. Uh, that's a wall. House. House wall. Wall of a house. The Dunlendings cannot defeat us. Me and my son. We are invincible. Me and my son. He sounded like the I'm a lumberjack and I don't care guy. You have done well, my friend. Soon this land will be free of their clutches. My son and I will do what we can against the drag Luth. For they cannot defeat us. Heron smiles at your puzzled expression. I speak not in riddles, Staff Teng. I do not exaggerate my prowess or that of my heir. The Dunlendings cannot defeat us. We are invincible. Okay. It is true. An old soothsayer lives among the mounds and speaks words of prophecy. She has foretold that I will die at orcish hand, as will my firstborn son. Hagruth laughs boisterously. Never before has knowledge of coming death been so welcome, Staffteng. For if it be my fate to die at orcish hand, well, no Dunlending will be able to land a hand upon me. Thus far, it has proven so. Speak to your companions, and if they agree to the journey I bring you before the soothsayer Hildegard, perhaps she will read your fate as well. Ah, oh, there's quest. Here we go. But no, seriously, these are awesome quests. Love this part of the story. This is the good part of Helm's Deep and good part of the epic story. And I cannot wait to see the end of this volume. We're getting uh, kind of close. We're in book 12. And there are 14 books in this series. Pretty sure book 13 is just all about epic battles. Which will be all right, but then after that we have the very interesting conclusion and fall of Isengard and all that stuff. So I'm very excited about that. <sighs> Herobrand is a fool to believe the words of this soothsayer. A soothsayer, such mystics never speak plain, but deal in riddles and confuse the weak-minded. Herbrand is a fool to believe in the words of this Hildegard. I will go with you to this cave if Nona desires it, but I beg of you. Do not put too much stock in the words of a soothsayer. There are many mysteries in the world, but I think it likely this Hildegard is merely a woman with an adult mind. This soothsayer will speak in riddles and lies, mark my words well, for they tell the future. <laughs> Mark my words well. A soothsayer lives in this land? I am filled with delight. Such folk truly possess the power of foretelling the fates. <laughs> Do you remember the dream that drew me across, drew us across the mountains? We cannot f not fathom its meaning, but a soothsayer such as one of, one of which Herban speaks, is more skilled at reading such visions than the like of us. Return to Herbrand and humbly beg him to bring us before this soothsayer. She could tell us much. 
Apparently that's excited, Nona. I don't know why the voice changed there. Alright, let's continue along. <laughs> yep, just working on this rock. Definitely not any leader of the city inside here. Just working on this rock. Just one hit after another. One, there, see, there was one. And here, here, cut, there we go. There's another. And here, oh, there we go again. Always hitting on this rock. That's what I do every single day. Every single day. Every single day. Let us see what Hildegard has to say of your own future. Are you prepared to depart? Very good. Let us see what Hildegard has to say of your own future. May it be so rosy as my own, which frees my hand in battle against the Dundending invaders. Now this is a solo quest and cannot be completed with a fellowship. Alright, thank you everyone so much for watching another episode of the Epic Story. When we return, we will be making our way to Hildegard and learn of the fate of Horn and Nona. Or at least a possible fate given by Hildegard. But that's not till next episode. Thank you everyone so much for watching and I'll see you again real soon for another episode of the Epic Story. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to hit the like button below. And if you'd like to see more of my daily content, feel free to subscribe and you'll be notified when that new content comes out. And also, if you'd like to help support my channel and help me continue to create high quality videos, feel free to support me on Patreon, and you can get all sorts of great rewards in the process. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you again real soon for another video.